So we're here talking about the steel driver and what makes this a unique machine. This is the most coil-like machine that I've made so far. It's got a very snappy stroke. It's got a give that is adjustable, which makes this a very snappy, effective machine off the tip but also makes it forgiving off the mid and back end. So this machine, whether you are setting up a big, big 14 round liner or a smaller five round liner, it's five and a half volts right there. You can, you can, you can hear it's humming. This is a cartridge setup. I've got different setups uh, just to kind of to give you guys an idea of, uh, of, of this machine. Um, this is a 14 round liner cartridge. Probably a little more tension than I would like in a cartridge. I don't know what brain this is. Just something that I had laying around the, the workshop, but you can hear that this machine responds to the skin. So even pushing against the tension, it is still a super snappy off the tip. So if I wanted to leave a lasting mark off the needle tip, I'm, I'm definitely doing that, but if I push in, bury it, and run a long line, it's responding to the skin, where the skin is telling the machine where to deposit the line, as opposed to the machine telling the skin. What that gives you is a, a, a forgiving machine where you're not feeling like you're skating on ice, where it feels like you might blow out if you go too deep, or just leave a scratch if you don't go in deep enough. So the machine is actually doing the work, which is which is what you want to, to happen while you're tattooing. This is a needle tube setup. Uh, on this machine, I've also got the, the thumb screw put in a different way, just to, to show different setups. By the way, people always ask me, do you use a rubber band on a cartridge setup? Well, the answer is, what's your setup look like? Does your grip contain your push rod effectively? Is there play between the push rod and the tube? Does your grommet slip off the armature bar? And does your cartridge have play in it? Meaning, does it have play right here? If, if it has play in here and your tube doesn't hold that still, well, you're gonna wanna use a rubber band. You can see I'm taking out a fair amount of needle out. Still super snappy off the needle tip. Nice bog in the middle. And give on the back end. And this machine is slapping pretty good at five and a half volts. I will use up to probably up to an 11 round, uh, right around like five and a half to 5.6. If I'm using anything bigger, I'll probably use a, uh, I'll, I'll probably go up to six volts. But for, for the way this machine runs, uh, you're going to be right around like five and a half volts. Um, this machine isn't just good for, for lining. That's another question I get a lot. This, uh, it, it's great for lining and shading. Uh, whether you're using a needle tube setup or a cartridge setup, if you plug a a shader into this, 
it's still gonna give you those super nice saturated solid colors as well as uh, the ability to do black and gray or even some nice whips. Depending on how you have your response set up. So whether you're using cartridges or needle tube, you can adjust the, the, the feel, the tension. So you can loosen this to give it a softer feel or you can firm it up if you want a more, more direct hit. What that does, it affects how this machine responds to the skin. So is it gonna have a, is it, is it gonna have less response or is it gonna have more response? The parameters at which you can adjust this are still within a good tune. So you're not going to be able to, to tune this machine out of an effective parameter. So, so it's still gonna it's still gonna function right. The the tuning is is really just how how you prefer it to feel. So this I, I think this is an eleven round or uh, sorry an eleven mag. And you can hear this machine responds to the skin great. So getting great penetration, still snappy off the tip. If I want those nice slappy whips. How, how you're gonna get those whips is having that snappy tip. So as you're whipping out, you're digging in the machine is responding to the skin. And as you're coming out, making less and less contact with the skin, you still have that snap on the needle tip that leave a lasting mark. Uh, which is, again, very, very coil-like. So, uh, I think I, I think I covered almost everything. I, I, I hope I, uh, Hope I gave you some valuable information. Uh, thanks.